Hello everyone. This is another edition of Reef Automation Tutorials for Neptune Systems. Today I'm going to show you how to update firmware on your modules to check your modules and to make sure that everything is up to date on the Neptune systems. It's very important to keep everything up to date because as they release new features and bug fixes, you want to make sure that your firm firmware is always up to date on not only the base unit but all the devices that are hooked up to it. So let me show you how easy this is. So when you go to your Apex, you're going to want to go up to here, to the gear, and you're going to want to look for this guy, Modules. When you click on Modules, it'll show you all the modules in your system. It'll show you all your addresses, and it will show you the status. Now, typically, if you have something that's needing to be updated, it'll say out of date here. This will also show you when something has been unplugged or it's not there, and it'll be in red. So this is a very important tool if you're troubleshooting any of the modules hooked up to your Apex. But this is also where you update your firmware. So if I was to click on one of my modules, if I go to configure here, I would go to update software. Now again, the software version is located right here. It says it's okay, so I have no reason to update the software. Another really nice feature about updating the software is it also reboots the device. So if you just wanted to reboot something that's possibly locked up or is acting weird you can do that from here for instance i have a display that sometimes likes to act weird on my fish tank so if i ever wanted to just reset it i could just come up here to update software and this will automatically reboot the device not only will it update the software but it will also reboot the device itself so this typically takes between depending on the device between 30 seconds to a minute so we'll give it a few minutes here to uh update and then once it's done your module will be up to date and rebooted so you can also of course uh, open up another fusion while it's updating because it doesn't matter because it's updating just the module itself and you can have that run in the background but if we go to our apex list uh, under here this is where it will tell you if you need an update it'll typically say update software right here there's another way to find out where that is and if you click on your Apex here and you go to the Network tab, which is the Wi-Fi, it'll tell you that your installed AOS or firmware of the device, and this is called Apex Operating System, if it matches the available, then you know you're currently running the latest. If you don't, it'll have a little icon here that says Update Software, and that's how you can update the software to the Apex. Now, when you update the software to the Apex, it's going to reboot everything, and it's going to set up everything to the fallback uh, devices until the update is completed. Now, usually the update will take between generally four or five minutes is what I notice. If you're doing it on Wi-Fi, sometimes it takes a little bit longer. But uh, that's just a basic tutorial on how to update firmware and check your module statuses on your Apex system. So thank you for watching. If you liked the video, please put a thumbs up uh, below. If you have any questions or comments, always leave them in the comments section below. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and the bell, and you will be updated when I upload new tutorials and new videos, and I do live streams once a week. So good news is you will... Get a notification when I do a live stream and know when I'm going to be giving away something. So hopefully uh, you enjoyed the video and hope you have a great day.